Good morning, class. Welcome to today's math lesson. Today, we're going to be discussing fractions and mixed numbers. Did you remember that a fraction is part of a number? So if we were talking about one full hexagon, hmm, let's see. It would take one, two, three trapezoids to make a full hexagon. And what if we only had two out of the three pieces? We would have less than one hexagon. We would have two out of the three pieces, or two thirds. And that's a fraction. A fraction is when you have less than one. And if we had two out of the three pieces that we would need, look, we would have less than one. We wouldn't have enough to cover the one hexagon. Well, let's take a look here at how many trapezoids it would take to cover one hexagon. It would take two. So if I had one out of the two pieces that I needed, one out of the two pieces, I would have one half or one out of the two pieces. Maybe I should flip it this way so you can see I need one out of the two pieces that are necessary. Well, how many triangles does it take to cover a trapezoid? You should try it if you have some at home. It would take one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of the triangles to make one hexagon. Hmm, if I took one of them away, I would not have all six that I needed. In fact, I would just have one, two, three, four, five. Five out of the six pieces that I needed. Or if I took another one away, I would have four out of the six pieces. A fraction is less than one. Hmm. Sometimes we have what we call mixed numbers. And a mixed number is when we take a whole number like one hexagon and we add something to it. Let's take a look at how many trapezoids we would need to have a full hexagon. And we would need two. What if we didn't have two? What if we just had one and a half hexagons. Here is one, and the trapezoid is half of a hexagon. One and a half. I have a whole number and a fraction, and we call that a mixed number. Well, let's see, right here, I have four sixths of a hexagon, and I have one hexagon. So this would be one, and one, two, three, four, out of the six pieces I would need to have another hexagon. One and four, six is a mixed number. Well, over here I have two thirds of a hexagon. What if I have another one? If I have one hexagon and two thirds, it would be one and two thirds hexagons. A mixed number is when we have a fraction and a whole number. Hmm, what if I didn't have one and two thirds hexagons? What if I had another one? Which number would change? Would it be my whole number or would it be my fraction? You're right, it would be my whole number. I'm gonna erase my one and put a two. Now I have two hexagons and two thirds of a hexagon. What if I wiggled some room here and added another one? Which number is gonna change? Is it my whole number or my fraction? Yes, it's my whole number. I now have one, two, three, and two thirds hexagons. Class, today we talked about fractions and mixed numbers. A fraction is part of a whole number. 
for instance, in order for me to have a whole hexagon, I would need two trapezoids. If I didn't have both of them, I would only have one half. Here I have one and a half hexagons. When I combine a whole number and a fraction, I have a mixed number. Oh class, thank you so much for learning with me today. I would like for you to get some pattern blocks out and practice making whole numbers and fractions with your hexagons and trapezoids, triangles, and a rhombus. Have a great day class. Bye-bye.